The next four questions are about having a bag of marbles with 12 red marbles, 8 blue marbles, 7 yellow marbles, and 14 green marbles. We're going to randomly pick two marbles, one at a time, and we're not going to replace them. The first question asks for the probability you get two red marbles. Well, the first marble I'm picking, if I add up 12 plus 8 plus 7 plus 14, I get that there are 41 marbles all together. So that's going to be my denominator when I pick the first red marble. So there are 12 red marbles when all of them are in the bag. So I want to get one red marble and another red marble. When I use and, that's multiplication. So the second time I do this, I need to look at what happens when I know I've already taken a red marble out. Well, I know first off that I only have 40 marbles left in the bag to choose from. And I used to have 11 red marbles, but I already have one out, so I'm simply going to have 11 left. And when I multiply my two fractions, I get 132 over 1640. So this one's pretty straightforward. However, the second one gets a little bit more complicated. There's two different ways of doing this. First of all, the probability I do not get blue marbles is simply equal to 1 minus the probability I do get two blue marbles. This is using the complement rule. So in this case, I'm going to have 1 minus, and again I'll have 41 marbles for the first time I pick a marble, I have 8 blue marbles to choose from. The second time, I'm going to only have 7 marbles left, and again there's only 40 marbles left in the bag. I'm going to take that fraction and subtract it from 1. The easiest way to subtract fractions is to make sure they have a common denominator, and 1 is equal to, well, anything over that same thing in the denominator, so I'm going to make it 1640 divided by 1640, or 1584 divided by 1640. Notice I'm not really worried about simplifying fractions here. The tricky part is setting these problems up. Because the problem is, what you might be tempted to do is something like this. Well, I know if I have 41 marbles, if I take my 12 red ones, my 7 yellow ones, and my 14 green ones, that's 33 marbles that are not blue. I could say, okay, I'm going to pick one that's not blue, and a second that is not blue. And the trouble is, that doesn't look like what I got the first time. So what went wrong? Well, this means I did not get a blue the first time, and I didn't get a blue the second time. However, that's not what the question says. I want to know that I do not get two blue marbles, which means it's fine for me to get one blue marble. So what I'd have to do is find the probability of getting a blue marble and then not a blue marble, as well as the probability of not a blue and then a blue. So the probability that the first marble is blue is 8, because there are 8 blue marbles, divided by 41, because there's 41 marbles in the bag. The probability that the next one is not blue, well, we still have 40 marbles in the bag, but there's a total of 33 marbles that are not, in fact, blue. Then if I want to look at the third case, the probability of picking a marble that is not blue is 33 out of 41, times the probability that I do pick a blue one, which is 8, because there are 8 blue marbles, divided by 40, because there's now 40 marbles in the bag. So I want the probability of not blue, not blue, or blue, not blue, or not blue, blue. The or is addition. So I want to add these three fractions together. And when I add these fractions together, I get, in fact, the exact same answer that I got simply by taking 1 minus the probability I did get two blue marbles. I'm going to argue it's much easier to do the first method than it is the second, but both are valid ways of solving this problem. Question number three, what's the probability I get either two yellow marbles or two green marbles? That's the probability I get yellow and yellow, or the probability I get green and green. The probability my first marble is yellow is 7 divided by 41, 
times 6 divided by 40. Again, AND translates to multiplication. The OR translates to addition because these are mutually exclusive or disjoint events. And the probability of me getting a green marble is 14 divided by 41, and then the second one being green is 13 out of 40. Those two fractions are 42 divided by 1640 plus 182 divided by 1640, which equals 224 divided by 1640. The last one is the trickiest of these four. It asks for the probabilities that you get two drinks of the same type. That means the probability I get a yellow and a yellow, or the probability that I get a blue and a blue, or the probability I get a red and a red, or the probability I get a green and then a green. Again, the OR translates to the addition, so I've gone ahead and done that. And these are as follows. And once I work out my multiplication, I'll get this. And then finally, my answer is 412 divided by 1640. There is another kind of problem I want to do, though. I want to talk about the probability of getting one red marble and one yellow marble. It seems that this would just be the probability of getting a red marble and then a yellow marble. We've done these calculations before. This would simply be 12 divided by 41 times 7 divided by 40. The trouble is, that's the probability of getting a red marble and then a yellow one. The question, though, says what's the probability of getting a red marble and a yellow marble, which means I could get the yellow marble first and then the red marble. That probability is 7 out of 41 times 12 out of 40. So I need to add these together because either the probability of a red marble then a yellow or the probability of a yellow marble then a red makes this statement true or translates to addition, so I'm going to add these fractions together. They happen to be the same probability, but that's fine. We'll just add them together and get our final answer, 168 divided by 1640.